The Division of Urology at UT McGovern is a moderately sized urology division within the Department of Surgery here. We have about seven adult urology faculty currently and three pediatric urology faculty. And we have a very robust residency training program with 15 residents and three major sites, including at MD Anderson, the country's number one cancer center. For being a small department, uh, as compared to other larger institutions, I think we have very high caliber research here. My research includes a project that is currently uh, looking into utilizing magnetic field therapy, and I'm looking it to see if it would help with pelvic pain and interstitial cystitis. So we have so many ways to make people's life better. Just for example, we know that this days is so hard to reverse patient's erectile function after any therapy for prostate cancer. One of the cutting edge research is to identify the internal or endogenous, the stem cell, which may regenerate erectile tissues. And we have promise and recovery at this point. Another exciting project is Dr. Canfield's research of gold nanoparticles in, uh, to treat prostate cancer. One of the problems with prostate cancer is that the side effects of treatment are well known. Uh, a man may be afraid of becoming impotent or becoming incontinent at a young age and therefore never seek treatment, never seek screening, and present with the cancer too late. And so I'm working for all of my patients who, who know uh, there are better things on the horizon and better treatments coming. Well, it started, I guess, about two, two, two and a half years ago. Came and saw Dr. Canfield and, and he said, well, you know, it's this kind of tumor. It's sort of one of those that's sort of serious. It isn't serious. And he laid out all the options of the different kinds of things that could happen. Suddenly his face changed and he had this twinkle in his eye and he said, but you know, there's one other thing that you could try. And he informed me of his treatment with the gold nanoparticles. So the nanoparticles absorb a color of light that passes uh, very easily through the human body. So if they're placed in a tumor, or if they collect in the tumor naturally, if you shine light on that tumor, the light will pass through the tissue and will be absorbed by the nanoparticles. They convert the light to heat and they locally ablate just the cells very, very close to the nanoparticles themselves. The technology is innovative because it's, it's unique. We, we are putting an inert nanoshell in the human body, uh, taking advantage of natural tumor biology to, to localize the shell at the tumor site, and then lighting it up with laser energy to create you know, cell death. For types of cancer, like prostate cancer, that require a very ultra-localized approach, this approach is absolutely ideal. It is so non-invasive to the patient that it's really, it's really game-changing. Patients, they feel guilty sometimes. I've had patients tell me, I feel guilty that I got to do this when I know so many men who weren't able to participate in this trial or had never heard of it. As far as I was concerned, it was, it was excellent. It was a matter of simply all outpatient care, no complications, no pain, no discomfort. And at the end of it, you know, a year went by and my PSA is back to normal. My MRI is basically normal. And uh, at the present time, I'm cured. To date, the clinical trial has been very successful. The goals of the trial being treatment of prostate cancer in a focal and localized manner with minimal to no side effects, at least not the standard ones of urinary control or sexual function, uh, have all proven to be true. The technology works. So it's all very encouraging, and I do see a pathway in the future that this will be a commonly used procedure. I am so happy to see this wonderful treatment now being uh, pursued so successfully and really changing men's lives for the better. Any man who is offered the chance to have a focal treatment to get rid of his cancer rather than a radical treatment of his prostate with all of the side effects that come with that jumps at the chance. In fact, anybody who's been a candidate for this trial has not turned down the opportunity to participate. And that's because um, it is so compelling. It sounds too good to be true, but it really does work. The University of Texas is an incredibly supportive environment, allowing us to do our work with patients, but also innovative research like this. 
So we work very closely each other in this division and people like a family. And we make the patient feel like they, they are coming to the home when they come to see us. We can actually see great results with the therapies that we have and help patients' life improve in a significant way. And that is very satisfying when you help someone uh, improve and um, have a better functioning life.